Hi guys. So Devjit this side. So today in this video, we will be discussing about Java 10 important feature, which is a where keyword. Okay. So what's the importance of this where keyword? So why we have to make use of where keyword. So uh, let's understand this in depth. Like uh, before what was happening, we are making use of int keyword, right? Int, long, float, double, boolean, care, these keywords, these data types we were using, right? So what was happening in that? So whenever we are making use of int i equal to something, when then we are making use of array list okay so there is some long long return types like linked hash map okay linked list array list so why we are writing it multiple times it is like a chaos right left side also we are writing the same data type return type right side also we are writing the same return type so it's creating a lot of havoc and it increases the line okay line length it increases and it increases the complexity a bit so to remove this problem Java came up, came up, Java 10, a new feature came up with the usage of where keyword. So with the help of which what is happening, you have to give the initialization, okay, with the help of where. So you can write like, if you are creating an object of array list, you can make use of where keyword over here. How can you make use of it? You can write array list, they are equal to new array list, traditional way. After Java 10, we can make use of where I equal to new array list. Okay, so in the right hand side, if you give the data type, like what should be the return type of that reference, which is used for initializing the variable, that is sufficient enough. We don't have to write it in the left side as well as on the right side. So let's jump onto the code and see like how where keyword is being used. So let's directly try to use where keyword will it work let we will try doing experimentation okay so you also try to do at your own laptop so i will also do so we will see like how much experiment we can do so if we do where i equal to nine or uh, nine will it work no it's not working that means the class level we can't make use of it so if you have to make use of a reference at the class level then you have to give the data type to it okay that is the first point we have to understand like class level variable is used for storing the thing okay and the method level fields or these variables are being used to process that field so that is very important so this where keyword will be used in method level scope only it can't be used in the class level scope that is important so if I make use of in a within class level, so it will start giving me compile time error. So that means it's expecting a particular data type. Okay, so now it's clear, right? So let's now create a method. We'll be creating main method, okay? And within this, if I declare where, uh, where j equal to nine, it's working fine, right? That means where keyword will be working, but it will work at the method level. Now, now let's try creating some other type of object like array list. Okay. So traditional way is what? Array list, array list. And we are giving the type over here. Let's suppose we are giving integer type al equal to new array list. Like this we used to create, right? We used to create an instance of array list. But with the help of where keyword, how we can do? We can replace this whole left side array list integer with the help of where keyword, where al1 equal to new array list. It's working perfectly fine. So here you can see the length of the code has been reduced a bit, right? So previously you can see this much length of code has been reduced with only this much. Okay. So if I'm using linked hash map, it's still bigger. Linked hash map, if we are using linked hash map of integer lm equal to new c is so big right so yeah it's a map so we have to provide key value pair okay so here i have to write integer integer then it will work so you can see like it's a very big so you can reduce its length to in, to reduce the complexity of the code we can write like where lm1 equal to new length has map and here you can pass like what type integer colon integer It will work like this. So don't have to, you don't have to repeat it multiple times. The left side, right side, same class type you are using as a return type. It's not required. So where is reduced, where is reduced the complexity of it. Okay. So it is, it is a stereotype. It will work like a stereotype class 
uh, just just like that in Spring Boot, it's there, no stereotype annotation, like service layer, at the rate service we are writing, at the rate component we are writing, at the rate repository we are writing. These are stereotype annotations. Similar to that, where keyword is also a stereotype annotation that we are using it over here. Okay. And uh, we can create a field with where. Okay. So that is important that we have already understood. So can we create a method with this name, where keyword? We have learned, right, we can't make use of keywords in method creation, in class creation, right? So if we want to create a method like where test. So can we create it? No, it's not allowing, cannot resolve symbol. Okay, so we have to give a particular data type. Then only it will work, otherwise it will not work. Okay, or we can give void. It will work. Okay, so that is the thing that we have learned over here. So can we create a class? We, can we do class declaration with where keyword? Let's try doing that. If we declare with where and try doing, try de trying declaring the class name with this where keyword. So it is not allowing. Okay. It is telling where is a restricted identifier and cannot be used for type declaration. It's an identifier. Okay. It's a restricted identifier. We can't use it as a class name. Okay. That is very important. So these are the things. Okay. And one more thing that I wanted to tell you that if we are not initializing the field with using where keyword, then it will start giving me compile time error. Okay. So let's suppose I'm writing in K equal to 11. Okay. And I'm writing where K1, it will not work. But if I'm writing int J, int L, it will work. What's happening behind the scene over here? Let's understand. So int L, what is happening? It's initializing to its default value of int, which is zero. Okay, default value of int is zero. But with where, it is not initializing because we are not able to understand, right? Where is anything it can be. It can be array list, it can be hash map, it can be link list, it can be int, any primitive, any non-primitive data type, anything can be, can be happened for K1. Okay, K1 can be anything. So we have to specify it on the right hand side of the equal to operation stating what is K1. What type of data you want to return with the help of this K1 field. We have to specify it explicitly. Okay. So if we are doing equal to new array list. So now this where has understood like this K1 is of array list type. Okay. But if we don't specify anything, then Compiler will not be able to understand like K1 is of what type. Okay. So we have to specifically tell like if we are using where keyword, then we have to specify. But for int, it's already known to us like L is of int type. Then we don't have to give, then we don't have to initialize it. Okay. It's not required. By default, it will be taken as a default initialized value, which is zero for int type. Okay. So these are the things that we have to make use of. Okay. And uh, there are certain things that we have to remember. Also, we can't make use of where as a class name. We can make use of it as a variable, but we have to initialize it so that, so that where can understand like this particular field is of what return type. Okay. We can remove this left hand side of initialization with where keyword reduces the complexity and reduces the length of the code. And it increases the readability of the code. Okay. Because at the end of the day, what, what does, what is mattered? What does matter? The, the, man, the thing that matters is what is the output coming and how much you are able to understand the code. Readability of the code should be improved and output should be proper. That is the thing, right? So this is the importance of where keyword. I hope you understood the concept. You have understood that you have got the, some clarity on it. So we will be coming up with this upcoming uh, new, new features of specific Java 10, Java 11 till Java 22 has come. You can see like every six months, new, new Java feature is coming. So this is important to understand. So in the next uh, class, in the next video, we'll be discussing some other concepts as well. Okay. So till then stay tuned, keep on practicing code and stay exploring. Okay. Cheers. Stay Dave Jitroy signing off. If you like my video, please like and subscribe my channel so that we will grow together. Bye-bye.